Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last piece of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. No Debt Lover. But today we are continuing the campaign in which we are going to attempt to invade the Reich, which we saw are lowering the poverty rate, which is only about 33%. And we're doing okay, and we have a Spartan discipline, but we're all here not for the economy. And we're still doing the National Redoubt thing, which we do probably want to get through. Invade the Reich. And also, before we even, like, really begin, look at all this stuff. Uh, Germany has most of the divisions, uh, Ukraine is, like, up to 15. What's this one? Austin has up to 38. Other than that, they don't have a lot, so. We'll see what happens. And I wanted to move quickly just because we have a lot of supply issues here, which is real bad. No turning back now. Go, 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 go. Complete German surrender. Keep doing that too. Cross the line thinking is fine. And this is my first attempt doing this with the No Step Back DLC or patch. So, just keep that in mind because we are running out of attack helicopters. Guys, bros, you've got to move. You've got to go in to get some supply. Oh, crap. Now, well, they've shown up now. We've lost, we've lost 4,000. Really? Holy smokes. Oh, it's going to be looking so bad here just a little bit. Because supply is just so bad. 20,000, 20,000. Yeah, we might have to rethink our strategy here. I might take off some of the attack helicopters because it's just the supply is so bad. And look at that. It's really god awful supply around here. Also, I didn't make sure that we have enough divisions to guard the coast for the most part, so that's not bad in itself. We're missing a lot of artillery, but it is what it is. But if it goes badly, yeah, we'll, we'll do some funky stuff probably. 46,000. How have we lost this many guys? It doesn't make any sense. Especially Spartan Discipline on. This platform wasn't very nice. Just take the supply points, god dang it. We did take it down here, which is good. At this point, maybe just hold. Do what you can if you just hold. Because we're losing a lot of guys. Yeah, at this point, I'm taking out supply helicopters. You know what? Let's duplicate you guys. That's fine. No, I'm going to take it off. It, it, we just don't have enough. And I'll replace you with what? We don't have enough recon. We got enough support equipment, right? Wait, so I'm gonna cut off from supply. Okay, wh what the heck? Convert some of y'all to at least this. It's fine. Save some on those things. And if we start losing really badly, then I'll just do some fucky stuff off screen too, because sometimes this is just not fair. How do they not have supply issues? I'd love to know. I'd really love to know. How are you winning here? You guys not do anything here too? You should easily be able to win, if anything. But yeah, supplies. <laughs> I don't think we have a re... I mean, it makes sense why it's so bad here sometimes, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense at some times. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, 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 no. The, the enemy's cheating. The enemy's definitely cheating here. There's no way. No flipping away. You can't even get in there, Tommy. Yeah, you're done. Supply, I think this definitely needs... A, I won't say a rework. I don't know. It makes sense why it's so bad. At the same time, like, it's not very good how it's set up currently. So... It makes sense why supplies so god awful. But you can't do anything here at all. And if anything, there should be extreme resistance to Muscovine. Even if like, we're taken out by the military government, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we got that one done. And yes, they just, just have, did have the second night of the long knives, but still. 200,000 losses. I mean, we're just pretty much going to be hanging out here. Let's see what happens. But, hmm. Anything for this from this guy? Um, oh, go! I'm sure we can. Maybe charismatic would be good as well. It also be a very good take to do. See what we can do about that too. Because right now we're missing tons of artillery and attack helicopters. Don't worry about the attack helicopters. Hold as best you can. No, I'm sorry, but this is stupid. They should be suffering extreme loss of supply in here. Like I don't care. If this is a supply point or, at all. 
So I'm gonna have to do some really fucking stuff off screen. The Petrov Salon, reflection of industry. Anatoly Petrov, now a senior sergeant and in command of a security detachment, looked up from his watch post, observing the gargantuan port of Magadan. It was a final and full realization of the Bastillard's goals, a gateway from Siberia to the world. A great maw that could absorb any and all kinds of rapidly increasingly industrial output from the Republic. As father traveled all the way from Tomsk and along the expanse of rail line created for the transport of vast quantities of goods to see it, he well remembered he well remembered the look of pride his father had given him. Pride that his son, his family, was contributing to the security and growth of the Republic through industrial means, and Anatoly had returned it with an empty nod. True lots of goods were exiting the port, destined for all the corners of the world, and bringing wealth to those who had once had little, but much of what was coming in clearly destined for use by the military, and after his experience in Novosibirsk, Kamarovo, and elsewhere, he knew well what those weapons could do. He was powerless to stop any such efforts, but that did not mean that he, like his father, had to support them. Instead, he had chosen to focus on the small things. Earlier that day, a cargo ship from the U.S. had arrived, as it has, and as it had exited the port, it reviewed the manifest. It contained a large assortment of children's toys, a quality not yet seen in Siberia. He saw that that has a true potential effect of the entire initiative, and much more valuable than a platoon of new armored vehicles. It gave him far better thoughts and allowed him to smile besides. So focus on the small benefits, which we did finish off that uh, thing right here. Now I'll be honest here, uh, we had these cons commands for this. This is ridiculous. Uh, I think the Nosa backpack for TNL really hurt Russia very hard. I and mean, we're using the second West Russian war mod, which technically doesn't shouldn't work right now at the time of this recording, but regardless, I mean... I use cons commands. We have more divisions than them now. We've taken we've taken a lot of casualties. Supply is really hard to deal with with this update. Like very hard to deal with an in, in TNO. So it is what it is. I mean, there's not much else I could do about that. I converted most of our divisions actually over back to this type, the copy division. So we have signal companies now and normal recon instead of like a lot of uh, um, attack helicopters. But overall, this was this was not easy. It's this made this so much more difficult than it used to be, which is not necessarily terrible, but it's it's a little bit more frustrating, I'll put it like that. Quite a bit more frustrating, actually. Well, this is kind of nice, though. But yeah, I mean, you think... I mean, obviously, I might not know the perfect division template, but, like, still. Like, this is, this is ridiculously terrible, because of all the supply issues that we now have, which makes sense, but at the same time... And it's incredibly frustrating. That makes it almost not even fun to play with. As you saw earlier, Onega was beating Samara until it pieced out. Kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. I don't know. I think there might need a further update because this is that's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I mean, the economy is doing fine. I mean, we can do the economy all day, every day. The growth is looking really good. No debt while we're at war makes no sense, but we're not going to question that. But still, but still. So hopefully we can just continue just like to win here, defeat the Ukraine, stuff like that. We need what? We need probably Kiev, Minsk, 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 and those groups. That would be nice. And you guys are trying to wrap this up as well over here, so that would be good. Yeah, we're just missing a lot of artillery and stuff like that, so. No, you ding-dongs. No. Oh, do what you have to do. I'm only pulling, like, you three divisions this way. Germany's just so strong, and it makes sense why they're strong, but it's, they need to be, I mean, this entire territory, yeah, they can second night of long knives, but there's got to be extreme, like, some sort of extreme resistance here, it's, for the love of God, it's Muscovine, it's Reichskrim, sorry, Muscovine, yeah, and while it's been de russified and re-Germanized, and just Germanized in general, it needs a little bit, a little bit more. It needs to be quite a bit more resistance, because I can't imagine these guys would go quietly, like, there needs to be some, like, none of this should be cored, or if it is cored, like, they should have a good day, like loss of supplies and stuff like that, because of all the damage that would be done here. I want to refight for this territory. No one wants to refight for this territory. We've already conquered it. You know what? I'm gonna do this. This is probably stupid, but we're gonna do it anyways. I need you guys over here now. We can push into there, as everyone else is still continuing to push in as well. We'll get them eventually. It just things have just slowed down so much in TNO, and we can't even get our land doctrine done. Oh, there goes Ukraine, thank God. Thank God Ukraine's gone now. So, where are you going? You've got enemies to kill? I mean, just ridiculously how bad this is. I think no step back. Overall, was a good change for Hoi 4, but... It brought a lot of negative aspects in terms of gameplay. I mean, it makes sense for some issues, but, like, some of it's just turned into a slog fest, and 
That's one of the things I hate about Hoi 4. Being a slog fest. About everything. Oh my gosh. Everything's a slog fest now. It'd be one thing if the AI could handle it, but hey, I literally cannot. I love these little roads, but. Mm. We're playing Romania 2? No, we're not. It's good. This pilot mode is very nice. Very, very nice. Um, I don't really care. Just go with that one too. It doesn't matter to me. You invest the billions yet? No. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like I'm gonna do more funky stuff off screen because we just can't seem to win here. Because, well, I think Russia's been nerfed really, really hard. I mean, they must have been nerfed extremely hard. How has Borman not suffered from any sort of issues? He only has 30 divisions for love of God. Only 30 divisions. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is so not good. And everyone, I apologize for using cons commands again, but this is impossible. Like, I, I can't imagine actually doing this for real, like, legitly, because Russia is just too weak. Russia is just way too weak. With the, Before No Step Back, before the update with TNO, it, Russia was just... It was... I'd say more balanced. It was more possible to win against them, and we could almost always win. But now? I, I, can't, I can't agree to... The changes that have been made. I just cannot. It's, it's too difficult now. Treat Riga, you want to go that? Please go ahead. Told your money we accept. Whatever. It's just too difficult. It really is just too difficult. And I can't recommend doing the second most Russian warbond. I wish the devs there are great. They're awesome. They're awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm sure they'll come up with some good stuff. But currently, at the time of this recording, I just can't recommend this. It's way too difficult with all the extreme supply issues because you can't make up supply, like spot equipment losses. Like, to a degree, you can, but like, the amount of supply or equipment that you need compared to what the Germans already have, it's a bit extreme. Obviously, we have Kazakhstan, Central Asia under us. We heck, I don't know why we've got Af Afghanistan, but there needs to be a little bit more. We need to get more support from like Japan or and or America or something here. I think there needs to be harder nerfs. Either harder nerfs or more buffs for Russia. Harder nerfs for Germany, like, honestly, they should be have, like, I don't know. At this point, I'm, I'm just not really sure what they can do. The devs, the devs are the second West Russian War mod. Because this is just not, it's not good. It's not good. It's not possible to win here. Hmm. Get support from OFN or Japan. Can you, is there any way to cripple German industry? With, especially with Bormann there? I, mean, I don't think there really is. I mean, you could cripple the economy because he'll blow up eventually. Blow up the economy completely. So, I, I just, I don't know. I'm not really sure what else I could do to balance it out slightly more. I mean, what is the culture here? Also, Deutsch. I mean, that's not good. Obviously, that'd be whatever. Ukrainian over there. Uh, also, Deutsch over there. Russians still here. Millions of Russians. Especially with the economy being strange as it is. I just. I'm not really sure what else I could do, so... Apologize if I, if I sound negative, it's just... It's impossible. With the amount of equipment losses that you have... It's just not possible. It's, as you can tell from me playing... Let's see, actually, before we keep doing this... Uh, grab a general real quick. I want to see this. How many losses did we incur? Because of attrition. It's literally just attrition that's killing us. It's not even the German divisions. The German divisions do quite a bit of damage, but it's attrition that murders us all completely. We went from 42 divisions down to what? 39, 8, so unfortunately, that's going to be where it has to be, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe industrialize this part of Russia more, you know, western part of Russia, Central Siberia is already pretty good, but Russia, I think just in general at this point, is just not strong enough to do anything, which sucks, because in the past you would be able to, but with extreme attrition, I mean, and this is extreme attrition, that's the Germans barely suffered anything from, um, I'm not really sure. So, regardless, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.